everyone welcome back to my channel don't mind me i am a hot mess today no makeup so yeah anyways so i am doing my boxy charm unboxing today i did receive the boxy charm in the mail i i did open it um i had some issues with this box this month and i am currently waiting for um the customer service department to reach back out to me regarding it. Uh, I received it in the mail yesterday, and when I opened the box, normally on top of a boxy charm, you get a little card that gives you a theme and tells you all the items in the box and the price and so on. That card wasn't there, so I should have known right then and there something was wrong. Um, before I get into it too much, boxy charm is a monthly subscription. Uh, boxy charm, I believe, is twenty right around $25 a month uh, and you get four to five full-size items it's supposed to value over like $150 or somewhere around there $125. Uh, I love Boxy. I've been a huge Boxy fan since it came out. I even have Boxy Lux and I signed up for Boxy Premium. So I'm definitely a little bit disappointed but I'm waiting to hear back from customer service to see what they'll do. They usually work with you pretty well. Um, so when I opened it like I said there was no card. There was bubble wrap and I, like I said I did open it. And of course, there was the foam to protect it. And inside, I only had four products. So I was like, something's not right. Um, and apparently, I'm supposed to have at least five. So I'm missing an item. Don't know what I'm missing. So I can't really tell you what's missing from my box. But I did receive the Moda Pro 5-Piece Deluxe Eye Care Kit. I am thrilled about this because I do love um, eyeshadow brushes and eye care brushes. So I'm definitely thrilled to try these. There's a smudger, a crease brush, and a, a line brush, and two others as well. I love the handles. They have that um, rubber look grip to them. So I'm definitely very happy with these. It looks like a shade, a crease, a detail, a smudge, and a line. Very happy with the brushes. Next in the package, I received the Siate Everyday Vacay Baking Powder. I have never tried coconut setting powder before. It is a baking powder, and it says that you have to apply it generously to areas with concealer to bake and set makeup. Leave three to five minutes and sweep off excess for crease-free, soft focus finish. So um, I'm excited to try it because I haven't had a chance to try it, and I want to see what happens. So I can't tell you how much any of these products cost because the card wasn't in my box. Here's where some more problems come in. So... This was in my box. This is Queen. It looks like it's supposed to say Queen. Um, and it is a lipstick in the shade Monroe. I was stoked to try a red lipstick um, because I've been looking for a good red lipstick or gloss that um, that's pretty on my skin tone. So I was very excited to try this. It looks like a great color for Valentine's Day. Yet when I opened it, guys, Look at it. It looks like it has been opened before. There is red on the rim. And as you know, if that happens, then it's been opened. So I'm thinking somebody opened it. Uh, I don't know if maybe they were checking to make sure it was. I, I don't know what the deal was. But somebody definitely opened this product. So that worries me a little bit. Am I going to use it? Probably not because I'm a little concerned why it was open. But that, so that kind of bummed me out a little bit. Not to mention the missing product, which I still don't know what it was supposed to be. The last thing in the box came bubble wrapped. And when I pulled it out of the bubble wrap, I was once again a little bummed because look, it's creased here. It's, it looks like it's been damaged. It's, uh, this is the Iconic London Makeup uh, Eyeshadow Palette, which I was super thrilled to get. And when you take the sleeve off, guys, look at this. It's damaged down here and damaged up here. It looks like it's been dropped. So that bummed me out quite a bit. And then when I opened the palette, you could tell that it had been dropped because there's eyeshadow under the film, loose. And the baked, or I'm sorry, the bronze bay has been damaged. And so has the VIP vibes. So... You can even see the line on the peach fizz. So this palette was definitely dropped. Uh, you can see it in the mirror. Sorry, don't mind. <laughs> you can see everything that I'm doing on camera here. 
um, but you can see the damage to the palette. So it was definitely dropped. Without it being dropped, this is a phenomenal palette. I'm definitely excited to try it. Um, I did notice too on some of the channels when they were reviewing this um, palette, on the back it said Made in Italy. On the back of this one it says Made in PRC. So I don't know. Um, it also says if product gets into eyes, rinse well with water immediately. <laughs> so I'm a little concerned about this palette. I don't understand why it doesn't say made in Italy. Why instead it says made in PRC. Um, and I don't know why it's been damaged. But that really bums me out. I'm missing a product. My lipstick looks like it's been opened. And this looks like it's been dropped and it's damaged. And this is the big thing of the... Of the um, the BoxyCharm this month. Um, not to mention, it's it doesn't look like it's um, the actual iconic London because it's made somewhere else. Um, I think PRC is People's Republic of China, but I'm not sure. Uh, so that's my review for this month. Um, I'm waiting to hear back from Boxy to see what they say. Usually they're super helpful. Hopefully they'll send me the products that are damaged and hopefully they'll send me the missing product because I mean, I paid for it and it's not in my box. So unfortunately this month was not the best for Boxy. I'm hoping Boxy Lux next month is my birthday month. So I'm hoping that uh, it's a much better box next month. And I'm hoping I get approved for the Boxy Premium because I still love Boxy no matter what. And I'm willing to continue their subscription even after this because people make mistakes. Companies sometimes have screw ups, um, but they're still a wonderful company and I really enjoy my Boxy charm. So that's about it for today, guys. I will be back next month with my birthday month and my birthday boxy Lux. So I hope you all have an amazing Valentine's Day. Enjoy uh, your loved ones. Go buy some chocolate covered strawberries because I told you to spoil yourself. <laughs> um, and that's about it. Leave comments down below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Please let me know what you guys Think about the whole made in PRC as opposed to Italy. Maybe somebody out there can kind of tell me what's going on. Um, and if you guys had any issues this month with your um, boxy locks, leave them below. Uh, and please, please, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next month, I will see you later. Have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Bye, guys.